Welcome back family. Today I have some very, very interesting footage to show you. It's actually the sounds of an unsolved mystery and your help would be greatly appreciated in solving this mystery. So if any of you live in any of the locations which are shown in the videos that are about to be played, please let me know. And if you've experienced any of these situations yourself, definitely leave a detailed description of what took place in the comment section below. And even if you don't live in the locations which are about to be shown and you haven't experienced any of this personally yourself, still please let me know what you believe it to be in the comment section below. Without any further ado, let's get to the videos. A mysterious sound heard through parts of Fort Green, Brooklyn has been driving some people we are told crazy. Yeah, it's it's maddening, it's unsettling, and, and it's also just this mystery because nobody seems to know what is causing this strange humming sound. What is the sound? You're hearing what residents of this neighborhood have been hearing off and on for what they say is too long and too disturbing a time. It's kind of a, excuse my sound effects, uh, but it almost sounds uh, unnatural. And for that reason, it really gets under your skin. What is that sound? You feel like your teeth are about to fall out. You feel like your, your window panes might shatter. It's, it's really an unnatural sound and it's unnerving. She says she hears it on her block intermittently, day and night. Just when you think, oh, it's gone, then you're like, wait, do I, do you hear that? Yeah, no, I hear that. It's also problematic because it, it's so eerie sounding, you know, and so it's difficult to ignore. I liken it to like some sort of alien invasion as, as you're walking around, uh, even in the middle of the night, you hear this hum off in the background and you wonder what, what could that be? You know, I thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> and they're only landing in the middle of the night. Now we're going to get to some more interesting footage, but it seems like the mainstream media always like to make a joke about alien invasions or some close encounter with extraterrestrials. It seems to be a running theme in the modern mainstream media. But to actually address the sounds that took place in that video, it would be greatly appreciated if you let me know what you think they are in the comment section below. And let's move on to the next video because these sounds are a little different, but they've been happening all over the world. And me personally, I've experienced some strange things in the middle of the night as well in regards to flashing lights but no sound and yeah it's a little different but these weird events seem to be happening all over the world let's get to it now there is a viewer who did send us this video listen very closely about five seconds in you can hear that sonic boom that is it right there again that sound heard from orlando over to tampa Look at that timestamp up on the top left. A lot of people saying they heard it around 517. There it goes again. And this is a camera from the backyard in East Orlando of Matthew H. Who on Twitter. Now, sonic booms take place when an aircraft breaks the sound barrier. If you are aware of any other situations where a sonic boom may take place other than an aircraft, please let me know because these situations are very strange. Take a look at this footage. Now, that loud explosion apparently happened across Wyoming Valley on Thanksgiving Day. That was on the 24th of November, 2022. They said it definitely shook the house, but wait a minute, this story gets a little deeper. You live in the Wyoming Valley, it is possible you heard a large explosion this morning. According to fire officials, the explosion was caused by hunters using Tannerite for target practice. Tannerite is legal in Pennsylvania. When it is hit by a bullet from a rifle, it explodes. No one was hurt and there was no damage caused by the explosion in Luzerne County. So I'm sure you caught that. The news explained it away by saying it was caused by an explosion of Tannerite by somebody who was using that as target practice for shooting. But take a look at the evidence that came out after that report. The explosion was caused by hunters using Tannerite for target practice. So Hanover Township Police come out after and say there was no evidence that Tannerite was used at the scene. So this leaves a very big question. Why would a news network report misinformation, just make something up which has no evidence for the claims and broadcast it across the nation? This is a very, very big situation that needs to be addressed. And I know it may seem like a trivial matter, but when something is lied about, it is because the truth 
is something that they don't want people to know. Mysterious and loud booming noises in Malden. Folks who live there tell us that they hear this several times a week and that the sounds are actually scaring their children, scaring their pets as well. But as WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us, no one seems to know where the sounds are coming from. Noises that go bump in the night don't often get you. It's a loud boom, boom, boom. But they sure can startle and frustrate you. You would think it was like the 4th of July every other night. Don Washington lives near Bell Rock Memorial Park in Malden with her two grandkids. These loud, unidentified booms can be heard between the park and the Malden Everett line. And sometimes you think it's like maybe a tire backfiring or something like that, but how many backfired tires happen? In a week. Another neighbor at the park told me she turned her TV off last night, fearing she heard gunshots. Even more people are complaining about it on social media. Mm -hmm. It's super annoying, especially with a dog and a baby. Mm -hmm. If everyone is hearing it, why aren't police stopping it? The past, you know, uh, seven, eight, nine days, uh, I see no record of any responses to that area for uh, loud noises. So these extremely loud noises are happening in one location consistently, yet the police are not responding to the matter. Now, the only time when police do not respond to a report is when they have already been given information or intelligence on what is really going on in that location, so they don't feel the need to respond. For example, if somebody is filming a movie in a specific location, and the police have been informed that there is a movie being shot in this location at this specific time and there's going to be people who are going to be holding guns, there's going to be explosions happening, etc, etc. Then if somebody calls the police and says, hey, there's people running around with guns, the police will not respond because they know that it is a movie being shot. But we know in this situation, it is not a movie being shot because it is consistent loud noises happening over and over and over again and really bothering the people within the neighborhood. So the mystery is still unsolved. Why are the police not responding and what are these sounds? For the last several days, neighbors in and around Stone Oak have been trying to solve a mystery. Residents there are reporting a mysterious noise they're hearing late at night. Some describing it as an explosion, random fireworks, or loud booms being heard in the late night hours. We asked Ken's Five reporter Alicia Neaves to see what she could find out. Alicia? ECs have been working on this all day, been making a lot of calls to try and crack this case. Exactly what are neighbors hearing between 10 at night and 4.30 in the morning? Able to track down the noise, neighbors went to next door to find answers. One resident writes, does anyone hear the thunder-like noises coming from close to Oak Meadow? Several respond yes, saying it sounds like blasting, fireworks, or booms. So we started digging. First, we looked at a map of the area to see if there was any obvious location that could be making a racket that was keeping neighbors up at night. We started with Camp Bullis, thinking maybe they were running late night drills. This is Alicia Niaves calling with Ken's Five. But a quick call to Joint Base San Antonio, they let us know they're not making a peep after dark. So we've done a lot of digging, but we still have not solved this noisy mystery. Now these noises that are happening all over the world can be different at times. There are sonic booms, there are sounds that could be explained as angelic, but either way, there is a lot of strange sound activity happening in the middle of the night and sometimes in the day all across the world. Now in 1 Peter 5 8 it says, be sober minded, be watchful, your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Now we know that this is talking in a spiritual sense that we must always be mindful and watchful, not being drunk on alcohol or taking drugs, but continually focused on the word so that we are grounded in the truth. And the truth is Christ. So if you have not built your house upon the rock, which is Christ, then when the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking who to devour, you will be an easy target. But if you've built your house upon the rock, and you are being sober-minded and watchful, then you will be able to spot the lies of the enemy with ease. And in Matthew 24, 42, it states, Therefore, stay awake, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. So be watchful, be sober-minded, and do not believe any of the lies of the enemy, because every lie that he tells is for a specific reason. It is to stack one on top of the other on top of the other until he has built a stronghold. And then within that stronghold, 
he presents a bigger lie. So let me know in the comment section below, do you think that the news reported the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Do you think that these sounds are just explosions from people practicing shooting? And also in regards to the first video with those angelic kind of sounds as they was explained, what exactly do you think that they was and have you ever heard anything like that where you're from? Many believe that these sounds are signs that we are in fact in the end times. If you enjoy my content, make sure you do smash the thumbs up button, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And if you want to support me a little bit further, go and check out the possibilities in the description below. YouTube have also given me a join button now where you get some cool benefits if you do decide to join and become a channel member. I love you so much, family. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you on the next one.